Ometepe Island, formed from the Madeiras and Concepcion volcanoes, is located on the largest lake in Central America, Lake Nicaragua. The island is 30 kilometers long and 5 to 10 kilometers wide, but seems so much bigger in person. Our trip to Omotepe started in Granada at the bus station on the outskirts of town. It's a 90-minute ride to Rivas at a cost of about 35 Cordoba each. In Rivas, it's a bit hectic and taxi drivers will overcharge you if you let them. A taxi from Rivas to San Jorge should cost no more than 10 U.S. dollars. If the good ferry is down, you may be stuck on a much older boat with little ventilation for the 60 to 90 minute ferry ride. The ferry cost is about 80 Cordoba. Don't book your transportation for getting around Omotepe until you land in Moyagalpa. There are plenty of bus and taxi options when you arrive. There's not much to do in Moyagalpa, and we would not recommend spending any significant amount of time here. For our next visit to Omotepe, we plan to stay in the Santa Domingo area. The beach is nearby, as is the town of Alta Gracia. There are several restaurants and places to rent a bike or a scooter. Many of the popular tourist destinations are close to Santa Domingo as well. The Zopelote is located in Santa Cruz and is a 500 meter hike into the jungle. The Lazy Crab Hostel is right off the main road in Valgue. You can get a private room at either of these hostels for about 15 US dollars a night. A taxi to Santa Domingo or Santa Cruz will cost you between 15 and 25 US dollars, or you can take the bus for about 40 Cordoba. The Madeiras Volcano is a difficult hike, but a guide is not necessary. It can be muddy, so wear good shoes. We started our hike from Finca Magdalena in Volgue. It took us three and a half hours to hike up the 1400 meter volcano and another two and a half hours to hike down. My body was in pain for the next three days after this intense hike. The prize for climbing this volcano is a really cool and calming crater lake. Near the town of Merida, you can book a kayak tour on the Rio Istion from the good folks at El Peru. For 20 US dollars per person, you receive a guide and a three hour tour starting on Lake Nicaragua, leading into the river. The paddling can be extremely exhausting, but we are excited to catch a glimpse of a turtle and a cane. For about five US dollars a day, you can rent a bike. Check your bike carefully to make sure it's in good shape. You don't want to get a flat tire on a deserted street. We wasted several hours walking and hitchhiking after this happened to us. After a long day of biking, hiking, and kayaking, Ojo de Agua is a perfect way to relax. For a three US dollar entrance fee, you can swim in the water or chill with some purchased drinks and food from the water's edge. If you'd rather be at the beach, Santa Domingo Beach is walking distance from Ojo de Agua. Everything moves a bit slower on Omotepe, and we really enjoyed our week there. The locals that live on the island are super friendly. The island is very safe, and it's completely dark at night, so bring a good flashlight.